Hi everyone, it's Sheila and welcome to my channel, Face and Fashions. On my channel, I like doing unboxings from different subscription services. So if you like watching unboxing videos, I would love for you to consider subscribing down below. Just click on the subscribe and to my returning subscribers, as always, thank you and welcome back. Now for today's video, I'm going to share with you my monthly ear fleek uh, unboxing with you and also share a little story about the blood donation process and why if you have don not donated blood recently or if ever why you might consider donating blood so stay tuned to the second part of the video for the red cross story but first we're going to start with the ear fleek ear fleek is a monthly uh, earring subscription service every month you get sent one pair of earrings in the mail free shipping and it costs three dollars and 49 cents now you can go on their website after you sign up and they have a little game it takes like five minutes every month you don't have to do it but i do it because i enjoy it you can go through the whole inventory of all the earrings and you can like or dislike so that way that helps them to know what to send you every month and that's pretty much it um since you only get one pair of earrings i've been saving my earrings up for the last three months so I thought I'd show you all three set of earrings that I have been getting. So I have them ready on the card for you. So this was April's, this was May's, and these are my newest ones that I just received in the mail today. And these are for June. So these are April, May, and June. And I did like these, as you can see, I went on a little heart kick. I was loving me some hearts. So I got me a black heart, so I got me some silver hearts. And then the new one, I decided, okay, you need to stop it with the hearts, lady. And I got some cute, like they got like, they're very, they're like a little piece of cloth and it has like a little animal print on them. So anyway, if you guys are interested in uh, Ear Fleek, I will leave the link to the website down below in the description box. Go check it out. It's a fun service, $3.49. It's fun. Okay, guys, I am back. I had to run out the door real quick. I am back now. Like I said, we just got done with the ear fleek. Now I want to talk to you about the American Red Cross and what they are doing and why you might be interested in setting up an appointment to donate some blood if you have never donated blood or if it has been a while since you've donated blood. So what they are doing right now at the American Red Cross is whenever you donate your blood, they are going to test your blood to find out if you have antibodies against the COVID-19 virus. Yes, they are going to do that every time you donate your blood. So I found that super fascinating and I thought I'd share that information with you. And I wanted to read directly off the website why you would want to know that, why it might benefit you and also go over the test results and what that means. So here is what the American Red Cross says about this. It says, thank you for donating blood through the American Red Cross during this unprecedented and uncertain time. During the blood donation process, samples are collected and sent to a laboratory where they undergo routine screening and infectious disease testing. Recently, the Red Cross began screening donations for antibodies to the SARS coronavirus 2, the virus that causes COVID-19. This COVID-19 antibody test is authorized by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and may indicate if your immune system has produced antibodies to the coronavirus, regardless of whether you had symptoms or not. So, Right there, I found, found that very fascinating. I want to know, do I have antibodies in my blood to the coronavirus? You know, it doesn't mean any, well, I'm gonna go over exactly what that means and what it doesn't mean in the next section. I'm gonna read directly what the American Red Cross is saying about this. But I wanna know, I would love to know. Um, now, I've been donating um, to, to them for like a couple years. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up my card and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like with your test results, even though I don't have my test results back yet. But I want to show you what to expect when you do do this, if you decide to do this. So um, it takes seven to 10 days to get your test results. 
Now, I only did this two days ago, so that is why when you look at my card, I'm gonna post it right up here. Um, you see, it says my name. It says how many times I've donated blood, my blood type. And if you look underneath all that, it's going to say the COVID-19 antibody test results. And when you look at my test results, what it says is the test results are not available yet. And that's because it's only been two days. So that's going to be one of the three readings you're going to get. It's going to be not available yet, which is understandable because it's only been two days. And it says it takes seven to ten days after your donation to confirm that your sample has completed the testing process. So after seven or ten days, I'm going to check back and it's going to say one or two things on my card. It's going to say a positive test result or a negative test result. And so I want to go over what a positive test result means. That will indicate that you may have had previous exposure to the virus that causes COVID-19 and your body has developed specific antibodies to the virus, regardless of whether you develop symptoms. A positive antibody test does not confirm infection or immunity. It is currently unknown whether the presence of COVID-19 antibodies will provide immunity to future infections. Although this has been shown to be the case in similar viruses for a period of time, and life experience has taught us that if you have an antibody in your blood to something, you will have immunity to it. But they are saying this has not been scientifically proven with the COVID-19. So that does not, they cannot scientifically say for certain that you're going to have immunity. But I would say it's a good sign, at least. So, you know, I want to know, do I have the antibodies? It, you know, it'd be like, okay, well, maybe I have immunity, you know. Even though they say that's not proven, but you know, you know what I'm saying. It's it's a it, it'd be good to know. So a negative test result would mean that you probably have not been exposed to COVID-19 and therefore have not developed antibodies to the virus. Because I don't know about how many of you guys out there have done like every you get a little cold or. A, you get some uh, sinus infection, you're like, oh, is this something? And you know, is, could, could I have had it and then not known? It's going to tell you if you've been exposed or not. If you've had COVID-19 virus in your body, whether you knew it or not. So I find that very fascinating and I thought I would share that information with you and highly encourage you to set up an appointment at the American Red Cross. What you are going to do I will leave the link down below. Go on their website. It's super simple. You do everything online. Um, you set up your appointment. You can find a blood drive. And um, I would highly recommend you guys do it. Um, I started doing it a couple years ago. And I have to say, when I started doing it, I was petrified the first time. I was like, oh, I'm nervous, you know, it's a needle and I've never done this and I didn't know what to expect. So I would like to take a couple minutes at this point of the video. Um, I've already given you all the important information, but if you want to hang out and find out what the experience and what to kind of expect on your first time, okay. So the easiest way to do is go through the AmericanRedCross.org go on their website and click on find a blood drive. And when you do that, it's going to, you're gonna pop, type in your zip code and it's gonna have, up pops a whole bunch of um, blood drives in your area. Usually they're at libraries or um, churches or sometimes parks. Like I went two days ago and it was at a library. Even though our local libraries are still closed, they opened a section of the library just for American Red Cross so they could have a place for the blood donation. Now with the COVID-19 and all the virus and everything going on, I wanna tell you it's a little different than normal. Um, when you go in, they ask you to wear a mask. If you do not have one, they will provide you one, with one. Um, and when you first walk in, immediately someone is there and they're going to put a thermometer to your forehead to test your temperature. 
So right there, I feel very reassured when I walk in, I'm walking into a clean area because everybody has immediate, anybody in that building has already had their temperature taken. So they do not have a temperature. So after that, you go through your check-in process and they're gonna have you take a seat. They're gonna ask you, did you do your rapid pass? And what a rapid pass is, is on the day, like you're gonna set up your appointment. Usually you do it two, three weeks. You could go a whole month in advance if you want to. You could set up your appointment two months if you want. But anyway, the day of your appointment, you can't do it before that, but the day of your appointment, you can go on your computer and you could do what they call a rapid pass. And what the rapid pass does is, no matter if it's your first time donating blood or your hundredth time, you have to answer all these health questions. And I think it's like 30 to 40 questions, but they're really all easy. It's if you've been to another country, you know, they, they go, it's, it's a whole bunch of basic health questions and you just answer yes or no. And it's really simple and fast to get through. But it's easier if you go online and do your rapid pass. That way, when once you get to the building, that's one less step that you have to do. So then after that part, then you're going to go over and you're going to sit, sit, sit with the, I forget what they call the people that draw the blood, but I'm going to call them nurses for the lack of better words. Uh, if you guys know down in the comment section, let me know and correct me, but I, I'm just going to use for common knowledge just the term nurse um the nurse he or she is going to ask you a series of questions go over your basic health vitals they're going to take your temperature again they're going to prick your finger it does not hurt it's just a quick little needle and they're going to test your um your blood right here in your finger for your iron level so that's also a good thing to, this is almost like having a mini physical really a mini physical for free um and they're going to test your blood for your iron level um because if you don't have enough iron in your blood you can't donate they'll they'll reject you um i have had that happen one time only one time my iron was a little low so definitely make sure you eat a lot of leafy greens and some meat the day before or leading up to it. Make sure your iron levels are good. Um, but it's only happened to me one time and I never really have that much of an issue. Um, and I just reset up my appointment. Um, but anyway, after that, they're going to test your iron, your temperature. They take your blood pressure. And then after that, once you get to the table, I'd say... The process takes maybe 15 minutes once the whole blood donating starts. Um, they ask you what arm you would prefer. They're very friendly, um, very knowledgeable. I've never had a bad experience donating blood yet. Um, knock on wood, I never want, you know, but they've always been very nice. They ask me if I have any concerns, any questions. They don't rush you. Are you concerned about anything? If you don't want to watch the watch when they do that, just tell them you don't want to watch and they'll tell you, okay, turn away. It's super quick and easy. Once the needle's in, it's it's easy. Um, and then afterwards, after it's all done, they have a little recreational area. They would like you to sit for 15 minutes. They provide you with a beverage and a snack. Um, quite honestly, me and my husband, we usually go get our snack and then we fly out the door. They usually, they're not going to stop you and tell you you have to wait for 15 minutes, but they would just prefer you wait 15 minutes in case, especially your first time, in case you feel a little faint or a little funny, you know, just to get your bearings about you. But I've done it so many times. I'm good. Me and my husband, we're good. We're like, yeah, we're good. Goodbye. <laughs> you know, we're out the door. But anyway, it's not that scared of a process. I was scared the first time. You might be a little nervous, but um, I just want to reassure you that's not really that scary of a process and it doesn't hurt. It's a, it's a prick. It's, it's, we've all had shots. We know what that feels like. Um, it's not, it's not that, it's not super painful at all. It's just uncomfortable, you know. But besides that, you know, it's good. It's good for you. It's good for, then you're going to gain some knowledge and you're going to have a little mini physical and, Hey, well, okay. So I think it's interesting and I just wanted to share all that information and I hope that helps you guys determine whether you want to do this or not. And um, yeah, so if you decide to do it, let me know down in the comment section if you sign up. Um, I would just love to know. And uh, 
that's it guys until next time i hope you have a great day fun, 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 fun. Yeah, 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 yeah.